This is your Solana Daily Debrief, it's the 25th of July. BTC is down a little bit, ETH is down a considerable amount, 8.4%, that's pretty nuts, and Sol is down 5.2%. Let's get into the actual news. So this first thing is very, very relevant. Tyler Winklevoss is a co-founder of Gemini, and you may recognize his name from, like the, from being part of Facebook before Facebook was Facebook. Anyway, he's a very wealthy person, has a lot of Bitcoin, he's a billionaire, and this is his viewpoint on Camilla not going to the Bitcoin conference. And in case you didn't know this, Camilla or the team, you know, the Democratic Party, they were thinking about sending Camilla there to speak at the Bitcoin conference because obviously Trump is going, there's numerous other people that are going. And this is, you know, there's a lot of billionaires that are actually part of the Bitcoin kind of network. Now, this is his view. There'll be some viewers that will disagree with it, but this is a smart person. And then we'll have a look at the person's view underneath it. The Biden-Harris administration wages an all-out war on the crypto industry for four years. Despite all this, Camilla is still invited to the Bitcoin conference in Nashville and given a chance to speak to the industry and reset the relationship. What does she do? She declines. She can't even take the first step and show up to start mending fences. Our industry won't forget this. We will show no mercy in November. Now, I don't know what he would normally vote normally, but I would say, you know, he would normally be Democrat-led. Uh, generally. I could be mistaken, though. Anyway, down here, McD Grill says... Are you off your meds? She doesn't know anything about it yet. Why would someone come and speak about something she's ill-informed about? You're threatening no mercy isn't helpful. It amazes how often smart people are the dumbest people around. So, I mean, this person's uh, more likely going to be de a Democrat. And I'm not actually either. Like, I'm not in America. I don't I don't mind. But essentially, this is, this is far more relevant. Uh, I don't agree with this take at all. You have a short time of period where some specialists could train you and give you a whole lot of information and you'd be drilled for like three hours and then you go to a conference and then you then you have a chat you just have a chat you just try and see if you can capture some votes because i just don't think it's going to be looking good for them and it would be good if there were two competent parties jumping into the ring anyway it's politics i know it's going to turn off some people the point is she isn't going next bit of news is this wyoming senator so wyoming is like a pretty good state for like setting up companies just so you know uh plans to allow, announce legislation for strategic bitcoin reserve at nashville conference so this is quite interesting uh i mean there's gonna be twenty thousand bitcoin enthusiasts there so anybody that starts to cater for the crypto people i know it's only a small subset of the population but it's a growing number of people so this is this is very good i mean this is a political time anyway let's get away from politics and let's talk about the actual market so cold-blooded chiller says these corrections will cut will become opportunity only a week ago you felt froze now the market moves and now we've got downside action and you get nervous so remember just set your levels look for value and bid for the upside so trader cause as an example longs some soul at 170 and then he said scared money doesn't make money and then he closed it out or some of it because he didn't want to babysit it so he's going to keep an eye on the mid 160s what is the actionable here because i mean i'm just buying spot so maybe a stink bid at like 150 140 and then something at 160 not not a whole lot of your bag just if you want to try to accumulate at that level meow and iggy they had a chat this is now on youtube as well but this was two hours and 16 minutes and obviously she's the creator or like she's linked to mother and then meow is um he's obviously the man behind jupiter so he he has a uh, a very strong thesis that PPP, player pump player, is the next meta we have to try and push. Because at the moment it's just PVP. It's, I agree with the thesis because basically PVP is just hurts so many people. Some people get lucky, the other people just get dumped on incredibly crazy. So you want to try and improve the tokenomics of even these meme coins so that there's a lock on some things. Like imagine if there was a new meme coin that came out and there was a good distribution of it. And there was a lock on the tokens and there was transparency and it was all seen on chain as well that would be far better i have no idea what they've spoken about because it's at 3 a.m my time but i'll watch it today you may want to as well next we have a solana article i think this is the first article i've ever seen a letter to the solana ecosystem now i've never seen a blockchain twitter do this so this is another really cool thing so basically putting me out of a job and that's fine just going through Everything that's going on in Solana that's really, really important. Like there's a hackathon coming up, which is really cool. We just had a hackathon that just happened. So that was awesome. Blinks. Then there's ecosystem news. Keystone wallet, which I need to tell you about as well. I forgot about that. I'll mention it tomorrow. And just 
just a huge number of stuff, a huge amount of stuff. Planos, they did really, really well. Sanctum, Moonwalk Fitness, and the Startup Village, and still more, like it's just ongoing. So this will be linked below. Read through it, it's well worth it. But shout out to the Solana Foundation for like putting out some decent content. So the Coliseum group, they have the new Solana Radar Hackathon. So this is from September 2nd to October 8th. So this would probably be a very good idea for people to register for, start working on some things, go to Breakpoint, maybe meet some people that can even help push it over the line in the final few weeks, and then submit it. Um, we don't have any details in terms of what you can earn, not yet. So we'll find that out later. Bitcoin Magazine has a report on this, Proton Wallet. So Proton is like what I use for my emails and my VPN. And they have just launched an open source Bitcoin wallet. They have 100 million users and they've got a far cleaner UI than uh, most Bitcoin wallets. So that's really great. Intent Trade, I've got a video on this. This is all relates to meme coins. Meme coins are hard and this is a tool that you can use. So check out my video on this. It's linked here, but it's also on YouTube. Save, which was formerly Solend. They've been rebranded. Haven't really used them this cycle. Um, I'm happy to do so, but basically they're trying to fight for competition. Camino's getting a lot of the market share. Don't think it'll be very difficult to actually claw back some of the market share, but they just haven't really done well. I mean, essentially the token's already out, so they can't really reissue another token. Or maybe they can somehow. I'm not sure. They're also creating dumpy.fun, which is something I haven't heard of or looked at. So short the... Uh, Crap coins destined for zero. And I think this this could be pretty good. So it lets you short meme coins profiting from their de demise. This looks pretty good. The only issue is I guess someone's going to have to go on the other side, right? So for you to short it, someone have to long it. And you just can't, like, how would you do it? I don't know. Like, would you borrow USDC? It would do a swap for the token. The token would be sold instantly. I have no idea. I think someone has to <laughs> take the counterparty risk. So... We're keen to see how this actually uh, turns out. And by all means, uh, save team, you can jump in contact with me if you like. Dbridge, they just did the snapshot for season one. And now season two is now live. What does this mean? So why Dbridge points? They're the main way of DeFi's internet of liquidity will become a community owned pillar of the DeFi landscape. Season one will be distributed in the form of DBR at token generation event. Token generation event should be sometime in August. Season one saw 15 weeks of bridging, huge amount of new users. Remember, a lot of these will be Sybils or the same person. Uh, so we won't call them Sybils, but we'll just call them basically the same person. So maybe they've got like 30,000, 40,000 users. They could have a few more though, because of the fact that they're going to multiple different blockchains, which is really great. And distribution of season one points. Uh, this is the details here. So the top 100 users hold nearly 27% of all deep bridge points. Top 1,000, 36 etc etc i don't know where 20 to thirty thousand points actually put you like does it put you in the top four thousand top one thousand I, I don't know i'd have to check it out and see if i can find out that information but my recommendation was to try and get 20 to thirty thousand so i hope you did manage to get there we'll follow up on this more once we've got a little bit more information next bit of news ferrari extends cryptocurrency payments to european dealers so uh it's all about making a bag and buying a lambo but if you're the make a bag and buy a Ferrari kind of person, you will be able to use crypto. Next bit of news, the Blinks mobile SDK is coming. So this like Blinks are just amazing. So it's coming to mobile and this is just going to make interaction on the Solana blockchain so much better. Bybit is getting into the content game, uh, coming up with a, a live stream and chatting with Jupe, Sanctum, Solana Foundation, etc, etc, etc. So I don't know why, I mean, you can $500 prize pool. Come on, Bybit. Put in, put in a bit more of that. But um, I do use Bybit. I do have referral if, you're not, if you haven't used it. But I do like Bybit as well. I like a few of the exchanges. But I think this should be a little bit bigger. Anyway, it looks like you have to subscribe. What I'm trying to say is I'm very keen that they get into pushing some content because there's going to be a lot of competition from other things like, you know, Infinix. And they're going to take away some of their users. So they may as well start to push out some content now. Solana's weekly active addresses hit 10 million. By the way, make sure you are following... Solana floor, there's just so much stuff that always comes out of them. So put on notifications um, and that way you get to see everything that's going through. Like for example, didn't even know this happened, I mean it's 22 minutes ago, but the arena allowing users to long short any token on Solana with leverage. So cool, I'll have to check that out. That could be, um, that could be lucrative. If you can short, that could be lucrative. 
But on the subject of Solana Floor, if you go to solanafloor.com, they've got a learn section and they've got lots of nice little videos and stuff like that, like NFTs explained and written in a nice, easy way. And then they have a, normally they have a little video on it as well. Don't see the video here, but some of them don't do. Or maybe, yeah, some of them have videos, some of them don't, but more videos are coming. Chonky is a meme coin. They've partnered with a proven social media agency in LA to manage TikTok growth. So we'll see how this goes. Just for full transparency, not sponsored or anything by Chonky. I don't know if it's going to go up. I'm just letting you know that they are making a move and maybe that equates to actual uh, price discovery. Now, the thing is, with most tokens, they're going to do well because of what happens on Twitter. So if your Twitter game is hot, you'll do well. But there has to be a crossover when, when something goes viral, like it did in the previous cycle with like Sheeb and stuff outside of crypto Twitter, then that's when you get in a lot more users. You don't get in necessarily a huge number of users if you're just in the jerk circle of Twitter. Hermans, their pre-sale starts today. It's nearly time. I haven't covered this because NFTs are a little bit quiet, uh, to say the least. And there's just a lot of information here. So I want you to do your own research. I can't I can't go and cover something which may have product market fit. And you know, it may do very, very well. Like what they're doing, it interests me a lot. I will most likely be getting one, at least one. However, like NFTs are still quite quiet. So I just don't want to go and put attention and say, I think this is really cool. And then it maybe doesn't do well because not all NFTs are doing well. In fact, most are not. This is your reminder to go to Breakpoint. Breakpoint is where the party's at. So get amongst it. And if you haven't been to a Breakpoint before, I will have plenty of videos out on like how to navigate it, what you want to do, all that sort of stuff. So basically you go to Breakpoint, you watch some of the, you grab a ticket, for dev at 250 it's in singapore so you have to get accommodation a little bit expensive but if you go to travel you'll see that there is some um more affordable options so down here you can just click here here to book these there's only two hotels here at, the, at present and it's still a little bit expensive per night but singapore's a very very cool place then you go to the side events where you mingle and you normally have to book into these beforehand because they get full and then you just meet a whole lot of people and have a whole lot of fun the final thing we'll do before we jump into the actionables is we'll open up some crates so i've got seven crates thanks to those people that are using my referral i am hugely bullish on infinix i've done a podcast out on it so go and watch that i'm probably going to try and take some clips out of that and just make them as shorts don't really put any attention to shorts but i think it's time that i started to get out some short videos essentially came the founder behind infinix he's worth a lot of money he's done a lot of amazing things Okay, nothing crazy here, but we'll take it. Go and stake that. And um, like at the end of the podcast, there's a little bit of uh, alpha from him. So I think Infinex, not in this form, this is like how you get attention. I, I would still enter though. But I think Infinex will do exceptionally, exceptionally well. Now there's been a question that people keep on asking me in like comments regarding the boost. Now I keep on getting one question on this and I'm going to get you an answer. So this relates to the fact that there's a, a turbo opportunity because anyone that's getting in now it's going to be really hard to earn some crates because you've missed out on like four weeks of crate earning and that's when tvl was lowest and the people earned the most they got the most number of prizes there's still some prizes out there i think there's still like 450 bonk 450 million bonk like worth like eleven thousand dollars up for grabs in one crate anyway so you can deposit one of 17 newly to, um support DeFi assets to receive a 500 cent deposit boost lasting until the end of the crate run and Come on down here. These are supported assets, uh, the ones in particular. Ray, JTOW, of course. Bang, bang, bang. I, uh, You may have some of the other ones. Like I've got a little bit of Pendle randomly. I may as well go throw that in. And basically we have a blog down here. It doesn't make perfect sense. Like I still had to clarify it. So the people are asking me, when do I get this boost? I can't see this boost. So it says the boost will be calculated and added to your Infinex account based on the deposit value at the end of the three day period. A three-day campaign. The boost only applies to users who's deposited one of 17 new assets during the three-day window and whatnot. So, uh, brilliant. Infinex is brilliant. This is not. This is not well written in order to avoid confusion, though. I'll be honest there. So, I'm reading this from Discord. Uh, Sphinx Zao has said. So, the 500% boost is applied at Friday 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what that is in UTC, but I don't know, like 11 p.m. the night before, like maybe 11 p.m tonight or something based on the final value of the DeFi assets at the specific time does that make sense and then so we get that boost and then we've got that boost 
for the final few days because we're running out of days, but that's what that is. Let's move on to the actionables. So watch Meow and Iggy's broadcast for some alpha. Book your Solana conference tickets now before they sell out. Or even if they don't sell out, and they probably will, you don't want to miss out on decent priced accommodation. Keep an eye on the Bitcoin conference because I believe you can watch the live stream. So if I find that live stream link, I will put it below in the comments. Stake some soul with Felday.com. Always stake your soul and always stake it, at least some of it, with Felday.com. And just a little reminder, watch my videos on scams to avoid getting scammed. We're getting less people on the channel saying that they have been scammed. So that's great. Remember, there's going to be people out there that are pretending to be me, to be pretending to be other people that are known in the space. Just always be mindful. No one's going to go and send you a link and get you to do something or try to get your private key if they are legitimate people. Now, airdrop actionables. So check out the D-Bridge Season 2. Jump in Discord, find out a little bit of information if you've got some time. Otherwise, I'll cover it as well. In the meantime, still use D-Bridge. It's brilliant. Farm cube exchange points. I know I need to do a tutorial on this. I will. Infinix, get crates. It needs a bit of cap capital. Um, you may want to go and put in some of the dupe, Ray, W, or JDO. And set up grass. So they're in the final epoch. It's uh, a tool that has product market fit. There was a bit of a scare. You can watch my video to find out about that. And always use decent security, just with everything. Like in that specific video, I mentioned, you know, try and use a non-Web3 com computer. If you don't have a non-Web3 computer, then maybe use a different account, like a different user administration account, or at the very least, a different profile browser. Just makes things safer. That's all for today. Have a good day. Catch you tomorrow.